Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of my Forest Screen Rovers Youth Academy Edition. How are you doing? Thank you very much for joining me today. In today's episode, we are going to finish off all the games that are in August. We have four lovely games to bring you. Two in the league and two in the cup equals four. Yeah, magic, maths, you can do it. But before we start, make sure you hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And ring the little notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go live. We have some new sliders. We have a new camera angle. We're changing the game up a little bit. The old sliders didn't really work for me. A link for the sliders will be in the description. Make sure you go look at this channel. But give them a go. See what we're like. We've got four games to try them out. If you don't like them, then we can find some new sliders. The game's still early, so the sliders ain't exactly on the point yet. Right. More intro. So in the last episode, if you haven't seen it, we had an alright start. Three wins, one defeat, beating Morecambe 3-0 in the league, then beating Portsmouth away in the Carabao Cup before a win against Salford at home, and then losing 2-1 to Tranmere in the last game of the episode. Today we face Grimsby, Blackpool in the second round of the Carabao Cup, Stockport and Wigan. We do have a full squad of youth players now, but not enough for the bench. But we can't argue. New formation entry. Christia, Goddard, Good. Cardozo, O'Leary, Morgan. He's done way, really well, Morgan, in as in field. Anyway, let's go flip on him. We've got Yunyaz, Connor, Collier, Carrasco, and Ali. Everyone is looking decent. Morgan so far, plus eight. Okay, massive jump from, from 34 to 42, hopefully, with his training when it comes in. Still have our scouts out at the moment. Uh, we won't be able to see them this episode, but hopefully they'll be available for the next episode. Right, let's jump straight into it. First game is Grimsby at home. We do the match report. Grimsby are going to play a 4-1-4-1 formation. So in their five games, they've lost one, drew three, and won one. And our starting lineup is Ali and Gar. We've got Nunez, Connor, Collier, and Carrasco in defence. We have Morgan, Cardozo, O'Leary in centre midfield. With Antri on the right, Goddard on the left, and Christia up front. Substitutions are going to be a massive thing now because people are getting tired. But until I get enough players, I'm going to have to keep these boys on. So let's go to kick off. Here we go then. We're kicking off from left to right in the green. Grimsby away in the red kit. Let's see what these new sliders are like. And this new camera angle. Actually, I quite like it. You know, it's done well. Morgan. Come past him, Morgan. Morgan left foot. Oh, big foot by Cartwright. Puts it wide. Morgan thought he was in. I thought he was right footed. Clearly he's not. He's left footed. And we still got to sort out the boots as well. Still got to sort out boots because boots are shocking. Cardozo then with the corner. Whipped in on his left foot. He does whip it in. Can we get there? Collier gets there. And it's quite easy for Cartwright to save. Two chances early on for Forest Green. He's past the defender. Good run, very much Got a player in the box. Who gets there? Christia! Oh, what a save oh, by Cartwright. And it stays on. How did that stay on? Back it off. Rose. Issa with the goal. Grimsby's first shot on goal. Makes it 1-0 with Issa. Great little through ball. Let's be honest. It wasn't exactly a hard ball to put through. There's no pressure on him on the edge of the box. And Issa with a great finish. No pressure on him. Good through ball. First time left foot. Ali sits down quickly. No chance at all. Sticks a leg out. Not really going with his hands. But 1-0 Grimsby. Still entry. Still entry. Still going. Entry to the box. Comes back. Finish it. Cardozo! Cardozo gets a goal! Andrew with a great run. Cardozo with the equaliser. I didn't think that boy could finish, but Cardozo, our Capitan with the goal. Great run by Andrew. Cuts back. Lays off the pass. Cardozo on his right peg. Cartwright will be angry about his near to his body. He should save it. But 1-1. One, one. Christia, still Christia. Great run. Christia! 
just wide from Steer. He's it across goal. Keeper beaten, I guess, miles, not miles, inches, I'm saying. The There's a difference there. between miles and it's inches. Past the post. Hold on, hang. Gahua. What a ball name that is. Oh! Ali, 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 what are we doing? They pressed us. Oh, no, isn't he for that? He needs to uh, get his legs out. Norway with the goal. But what is Ali thinking? Looking for the pass out. It was a poor pass as well. But look at this. There's a back to the keeper. Still so going long, which I should have done. He's just very, very, very sloppy. And Norway's not going to miss him there. 2 1 Grimsby. Disappears. And that is 2 1 at half time Grimsby. It's not been a great first half, let's be honest. Cartwright's made some big saves. But Norway with so far the most decisive goal of the game. 2 1 half time. We've got to perform better second half. Let's kick off. Let's get this game back underway. We can't have back to back defeats. And Rose can bring it away for Grimsby. Norway. Issa. Oh, straight through the middle. And he's made headway. Gone for the chip, Issa. It's free. Issa went straight through the middle of our defence. No one could catch him. No one with any pace. Grimsby, three. Forest Green, one. And it's well deserved, this all fairness. Pushing men forward, but not getting back. Positioning all over the place. It's a double tap. Ali comes out early, maybe a little bit too early. Left in no man's land. And Issa just chips it. Boop, little dink. Over the top. 3-1 Grimsby. Is this too much to ask to get back? Maybe time will tell. Good ball to Antwi. Cuts inside, Antwi. And again. He's good pass O'Leary. It's a great save by Cartwright. What a pass that was from Antwi. O'Leary should be really put in the back of the net, though. Just over an hour played. Half hour to go. Can we get something from the corner? Easy. And Grimsby get it cleared with Gonoa. O'Leary, Christia. Good ball. Goddard. Has he got the legs? Goddard. Goddard gets us one back. 3 2. Carter Goddard with the goal. It's his third goal for the club. It's a great ball from Christia. This sets him away on the halfway line. I wasn't sure if he had the pace. Defender was closing him, but never made the tackle. On his left peg, Cartwright has no chance. It's a good strike as well. 3 2. 20 odd minutes left to go. Shot! Ali! I didn't think he was going to save it. I honestly didn't think he was going to save it, but he does big save. Grimsby corner. It's cleared by Morgan. No way. Cardozo's in again. Cardozo. Oh my dear God! This man cannot shoot. He takes his time, composed, and then I swear he's, he must be a rugby player. Must be a rugby player. Twelve minutes to go. It's a good tackle with Ian. It's been all over the place. Ainley's gone past him. Oh, a bit of skill. Good save by Ali. He rolls the ball past him. The block. And Ali with his feet push it wide for a corner for Grimsby. Second ball. It's fallen to Meyer. It's 4-2. That is game over. Couldn't get the ball cleared from the corner. Grimsby get the fourth. Looks like we're having back-to-back -back defeats. Not great. Not great at all. Yeah, the corner comes in. Gets a head to let me. Doesn't really clear it. Falls to Meyer. Ali opens his legs and, well, goes down early. Goes down really early. And Meyer puts it away for a fourth goal for Grimsby. Go again. 
That is it. Full time. Forest Green 2, Grimsby 4. Back to back defeats. We're not used to uh, losing. Gristia had a poor game, wasn't really in it. Don't know. Might have a change of formation again. I don't know if this 4 3 3 is working for us. Defensively, we look all over the place, but we're going to. But Abdo Issa getting himself a brace of two goals with three shots. And Cartwright as well had some cracking saves. We had chances, but we didn't take them. Nevertheless, we go on to the next game, which is the Carabao Cup against Blackpool. Right, here we go then. Game number two is the Carabao Cup against Blackpool. A win here sets us up for a third round. Blackpool apparently playing Tika Taka. Tika Taka football, but I'm playing a 5-3-2 holding. We are going to play in a 4-3-3, but a holding. Morgan's now going to be a holding midfielder, so they have a camera grab a holding. So Ali's in goal again. we got Jonas, we got Connor, Collier, Carrasco in the defence. Morgan as our DM, Cordozo and O'Leary in centre mid. Goddard on the left, Castillo up front, and Antri on the right. We'll play on counter-attacking football. Hopefully, goals galore. We'll be kicking off in the green. Blackpool, of course, will be in their classic orange shirts. Let's rock and roll. Here we go then. Blackpool to kick us off. Kicking from right to left in the orange. We're in the green. Game kicks off. Of course, Blackpool are a league above us. So, expectations are not particularly high. No turn. Lavery. Thompson. Get past the defender. Referee ways play on. Crosses in. Carrasco doesn't get there. Second ball. Ali gets there. Good save by Ali. Good chance for Blackpool early on. But corner for Blackpool. Looks like they're going short. They have Morgan. Newburn. This is for Pennington. Shot is clear-ish. Carrasco does well. Keeps over the ball. Antry. Oh, good tackle. Second ball. Oh, it's a great tackle, but he serves at Lavery. Ali with a big save. Two big saves for Ali early on the first 10 minutes. But it was a great tackle for, from Antry, but then it sets up Lavery. And we're not switched on. And Ali sticks out a hand, pushes it wide. Corner again for Blackpool then. Something from the training ground. Morgan. Morgan. Good tackle. I mean, can we break? Morgan. Lions. I want that man. Shot! 1 0, Joseph. Not selecting the right player. He's going to. If I'm selecting players, let's go to the player I don't want near the ball. But 1 0, Blackpool. We haven't been able to get our halves, let's be honest. So I'm selecting the bloke at the edge of the box, but it's selecting the bloke in the middle of the box, which I don't want. It's a good turn. It's a good shot. Nothing Ali can do. Joseph with the goal. Ali gets nowhere near it, let's be honest. 1-0 Blackpool. Joseph gets out wide. Lions. Morgan. Morgan. Morgan still. And pull back. Joseph! It's two. Half an hour played. Couldn't select the right player again. And Joseph capitalises, makes it 2 0. And that could be the knockout punch. Which could knock us out of the Carabao Cup as well. But defensively, we are all over the place. Look. Six yard box. No one marking. Three chance. Boy just switched off. Doesn't get a clean connection, but it does enough to take a pass alley. And that is Blackpool 2 for a screen nil. Good pass to Goddard. Gets into the box. Christia. Cardozo. Cardozo! Oh, he can't score from inside the area, but he can score from outside the area. Cardozo with the goal. That's two goals for him back to back. We have not out of it yet. We're not out of it. Cardozo. Great strike on his left foot. Beats the keeper. Keeper doesn't expect him to shoot. Goes low. When the area goes high. It's a bit little bit bit a little bit weird. Good pass. Antry's in. Christia. Christia. Good save by O'Donnell. 
Castillo takes it early. And O'Donnell can tip it wide for a corner. Can we get his equaliser? He's got another good ball. Near post. Oh. Cardozo. To Morgan. Goddard. O'Donnell saves again. Keepers under pressure just before half time. Cardozo. That says Morgan's head. Oh, it's taken off his head. Goddard. Done well. It's a great looking ball. Antry gets there, doesn't Cardozo leads up to O'Leary. O'Leary, left foot, O'Leary! What a save, O'Donnell! That was nestling in. Keeper has been making some great saves. Goddard. Antry's free. He's giving it to Antry. Antry! Antry! Why didn't you hit it on your left foot? You're left footed. Why are you hitting it on your right? That was a poor effort. Goes across, goal. Why didn't you set it on your left foot, mate? Score stays the same. 2 1 Blackpool. Waiting for someone to make a run, but Carrasco's still going. Into the last 30 minutes now. Carrasco. That's a good pass. Christia. Christia. Oh! No other way to describe it. Just when you think it's easier to score, he puts it right. Jordan Rhodes is coming on. Oh, ref. O'Leary. Christia. This time. Oh! Christia, what are we doing, mate? Hit the ball. Stop trying to pass it. Boys are giving everything in the second half. But yet, we Ollie ain't going to get a neutralizer, I don't think. Lavery. Lavery ends it. It's 3 1. Lavery finishes it. Too much time and space on the ball. And Blackpool are going to progress into the third round of the Carabao Cup. It's three defeats in all competitions. Well, Things are not looking yeah, good for us. So well I'll have to go back to a 4-4-2 at this rate. I really might have to. That's a really nice goal. It's a good finish. It's a good finish. 3-1, Blackpool. Can we get something out of it? It's Goddard. He's in the box. Christia! It's easy again for O'Donnell, and the final whistle goes. We are not out of the Carabao Cup. We were never going to win it. We got past the first round, but hey, never mind. Now we concentrate on the league before we go into the EFL Cup. But before we get that league first, Joseph gets himself two goals from five attempts. Something needs to change with this team. What's going to change, I don't know. Only time will tell. Well, screen one, Blackpool three. Game number three of the episode, Stockport away. With a pre-match meeting, of course, we go to that. They are playing a 5-2-3 formation. We've slightly changed the formation. We've gone back to a formation that I used in FIFA 23. The 3-5-2 formation. With Goddard and Yonyaz come back up and down the wings. As you can see, Ali's in goal. We've got Connor, we've got Collier, and we've got Jamami in defence making his debut for the club. Cardozo, Carrasco as a centre midfielders. O'Leary as a cam. Yonyaz on the right wing. Goddard on the left wing. Christia and Antri up front. Here we go. Stockport County, Forest Green Rovers in the league. Here we go. And we're kicking off, kicking from right to left in the green Stockport. We're in our blue home kit. We're in our green home, way, home kit as well, actually. He's going to help us pick the right player for me. Bailey. What's he giving? Can they forge ahead? What's he giving? What's he giving a penalty for? Penalty. Stockport. Come on, Ali, make a name for yourself. Wooten steps up. Smash it pretty much down the middle. Wooten putting Stockport 1-0 up. The league leaders. A very soft, soft penalty, must admit. It's a nice kit, though. It is a nice bit. I wonder if Curtis, Curtis likes it. But Stockport 1-0 up. Smash it straight down the middle, pretty much. 1-0. Collar. 
Bailey. Could be threatening. Offside. Oh, Barry scores. One. Surely that's offside. Stockport 2 0 up. Louis Barry, Barry with the goal. I thought he looked miles offside. And look at this replay. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. But he's the he's there by himself. There's no one with him. I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. There's no one with him. How is that not offside? Barry. Toure. Toure's got past him. Barry again. Barry! Louis Barry makes it 3 0. Mind you, we have played four minutes of the plus two. If that was us, that would have that been blown up a lot earlier. We're near the like, fourth minute of injury time. Plus two. Ali, straight at you, mate. You've got to be doing better than that. But Barry makes it three. Oh, Ali. There is the half time whistle. Plus four, but a plus two, and there's no injuries. What's that about? Three no stop port. We haven't been good enough. Second half, we have to do a lot, lot better. I just gone straight for the middle of you. What? What's going on there? Good tackle. Carrasco. 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 Oh, it's poor. It was. It was so timid. So timid shot. Easy for the keeper to save. Cardozo. There's no one there. O'Leary. O'Leary strikes. It's not on hand. Unable to keep the ball. Yuash. Cardozo. Antry. Antry. Oh, left foot. And he puts it wide. Creating chances, though. We're creating chances. Oh, what's going on there? Defender. Switch on. Go for goal. Saved by Ali. Saved by Ali. Goal. Powell. 4 0. What's going on? I thought the ball went out. But you play to the whistle. Powell makes it 4 0. Stockport. And we have been getting absolutely smashed. Good save by Ali. Second save by Ali. And it falls to Powell. On the volley. Open goal. Wasn't going to miss. 4-0 Stockport, and this has been an absolute whitewash. Good ball. Who's in? Christia. Can we get one back? Christia. It's a big save by Hinchcliffe. What a save that was. Should have scored that. Um, Cardozo in the corner. Good thing. Gullard. Poor from Gullard. And who's he giving it to? There's no one out there. Olufe! It's 5 0 Stockport. Boys are shattered. I need some more players in. We need more players. Look at the, the gap in the defence is shocking. Absolutely shocking. But ball watching. It's a good finish. Ali gets nowhere near it. 5 0 Stockport. Surely the referee is going to blow now. And put us out of our misery. He does 5-0 Stockport. And that was the worst of them all so far. We were shocking. Defensively all over the place. Not sure what we're going to do. I don't think these formation changes are working. Players are getting knackered as well. We need to bring more players in. That's the only thing we can do. I don't think we can be too picky now who we pick. Who we bring in because just short on players. Fitness is now becoming a massive issue. Nevertheless, stop put five, Forest Green nil. And Charlie McCann has gone to hit Birmingham for 420,000 D price, but he had to go. So, the last episode of the episode is Wigan away in the EFL trophy. We also have Cambridge in our group as well. But what we're going to do, we're not going to play it. Due to our squad being literally depleted fitness-wise, it's I got I can't put anyone else on. I can't change anything else. So what we're gonna do? We're going to do manager view first time we're gonna use it. So we're gonna see if it's any good. But we're gonna go play a four-two-three-one. So press conference done, match report done. We go do the training sessions. We're gonna kick off, but we're gonna go tactical view and see what the manager view is like. So our form's not been great. 
But here is the tactical view. Can I turn? And so the battle commences. Okay. What can I do from here? Spectate view. What's that? Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. Okay, manager. Oh, they're no, literally watching it. It's a good through ball. Christia. Well, one they're up within two minutes. I'm, I'm not playing. Could this be the new way of playing this game? Do a manager view instead of actually playing the game. Well, let's look at this again. To pick it's a great the ball through. Christia makes the gap, smashes it. That's that ball patch. Christia, good finish. Wigan and one nil down within two minutes, and I haven't done nothing. Not a thing. I think manager view might be a new way. Humphries is in. He's in. One on one. It's a good goal. Humphries is equalised literally straight away from the kickoff. Oh no. It could be one of those games. We could get absolutely battered here. Straight through that defence. Who are tired. Smashes it. Ali has no chance. Ali has absolutely no chance there. 1-1. One, one, five minutes played and it's 1-1 one, one already. Back to Asgard. It lays it off to Godot. Godot? Halak. Got no one in there. Edge of the box. Puts it in. Back Malinum. I weren't sure that ball was out before. But Mama, a great header. Ali gets a hand of it, hits the bottom, underside of the bar, and I'm guessing goes behind the line because a goal's been given. It's 2 1 Wigan. Not much we can do about that. Yeah, it's just over that line. It only just. Hawkeye. Oh, do you know what? I'm not 100% sure. There's a bit of white left on that line. That's a harsh one. That is. Goal's been given now. Did you get Hawkeye at uh, League 2? I don't think you do. But we're going 2 1 up. Half an hour played. What's Ali going to do? He's going long. Looking at the board. Two minutes added on from the fourth official. Cardozo. We've given ourselves a good account of ourselves. Maybe it's better I don't play. Antwi. He's in the box. Can he get a shot off? What's he going to do? He does shoot. It's a goal. Antwi absolutely smashes it past him. What a goal that was for Antwi. 2-2. Two, two. Abos beating that as near post. Oh, I never thought of shooting from there. Never thought of shooting from there at all. Antwi, he just powers it. Oh, keeper, what are you doing? It's a good strike. Goalkeeper, you do not get beaten at your near post, especially from that angle. 2-2 two, two, going into half time. And then finds O'Leary in the middle. Goes past one. A little through ball. Antry. O'Leary. O'Leary. Oh. Halank. Two minutes added on. We're in. We've done one. But Wigan still have the ball. Humphreys. Not like this. Good tackle by Johnny. Jenks. Can we create something? Last couple of seconds. We're over the halfway line. The attack is on. Christia. Dabo. Goes back. And that is the full-time whistle. It finishes Wigan 2, Forest Green 2. That was the manager view, and I enjoyed that more than actually playing. That is something to seriously consider about in the future, whether we carry on playing or we just do manager view the whole way through. It's not a bad idea. And a couple, we, play a couple, we play one or two games, and then the rest of them we just do manager view. I like the sound of that. I do like the sound of that. But that game finishes 2-2 means our losing streak is over. And I didn't play it. Am I the problem? All four games have been played. Three defeats. Okay, my bad. We got absolutely hammered by Stockport as well. Absolutely annihilated by Stockport. And the draw, which was in the manager view, which I quite enjoyed, actually. I really did enjoy sat here just egging the team on, cheering them on, you know, jumping. Yeah, go on. Because I don't know what's going to happen myself. So... In future, that might be a thing for us. Please let me know who you think your player of the episode has been. There hasn't been many outstanding performances, but please write down in the comments who do you think your player of the episode has been, and we will add it to a list. And at the end of the season, whoever gets the most votes for that player of the episodes or player of the season, that is the fans' player of the of the season, 
Makes sense. Manager, fans, manager, fans. All good. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And ring the notification bell so you're notified when a new video does go like. We are looking to get 10 likes in this video. We can get 10 lovely likes from you lovely people. That would be absolutely fantastic. And in the next episode, we have got a busy episode again. We will be bringing you the highlights of the transfer window closing. We then have Mansfield, Crawley, Journal and Cambridge. Four games in the beginning of September, plus a youth intake as well. So we have some more youth players coming in. We need some fresh blood. That does sound wrong in so many ways. But that's all looking forward to. What more do you want? Until next time, guys, take a stay, look after yourself, and I will see you all very, very soon. Toodles. Manager mode, definitely a way to go. Definitely.